Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow and they help get out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, on that um, point, around the subscriptions in particular, uh, I just want to make a quick call out that YouTube have actually changed some of the requirements for joining their partner program, and I'd really like to do that because in my mind it's like oh i've actually started to make it i'm recognized as a youtube partner um so if you're watching and you're enjoying it but you haven't hit that subscribe button i'd really ask that you please do so just to help me get up to that 500 mark because it feels like it's getting ever closer so thank you very much to everyone that has subscribed um but yeah if you're if you're on the fence i'd, I'd ask that you you know just take that leap and, and jump on it and press the button Right, however, in our last episode, what we did was we laid down these 52 refineries which are going to deal with a single pure copper node that we've got sitting at the Nexus um, because that's going to turn all of that into copper ingots. Now, I've lined myself pretty much up to it, so if I scan... No, that was iron ore. Copper ore is what I want. You will notice, there we go, that 570 in that direction basically in front of us. So... We are basically going to try and run to it because I want a way that we can... Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Okay, right. Well, let's just continue doing this then. Did not mean to fall off that. I meant to continue running along that. Because at some point I think I'm going to need to drop down oh 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 that was a mistake i didn't have power ow okay this is fine he says okay we've got gas mask we can go through these fart rocks that's fine no that's not a way out so that's not what i wanted i have made a real boo-boo here and you guys get to come on this adventure with me. Like, we're going to have to do a loop, aren't we? Uh-oh. I hear mewing. I hear mewing to my right. I don't like that. Oh, my God. We really did take a tumble, didn't we? Come on. Ah, up, up, up is where I'm trying to go, damn it. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, up, up, come on, up. Okay. This looks a bit more like the level I was trying to get to. I've no idea where that line we were running is now. But, you know, there's the edge of our hyper tube. And that connects the home base to uh, the original power plant. God blimey, that was ages ago when we built that. Come on. Right, we can put that away now. Uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to get up to the underside and have a look and get that concrete run ah i'm not having much luck today am i with the hover pack right come on let's get up now i think uh, oh, give over come on there it is that's what we're trying to get to Hang on, that doesn't have power. Why does that not have power? I mean, to be fair, even if it doesn't, could I make use of it for the... Come on. Come on. No, you're not going to let me do that, are you? Oh, booey. Okay. Fine. 
oh, we really are having the worst luck. And I know it's of my own, you know, design because I've not properly set up a power grid underneath for me to make use of. But, you know, you don't need to point that out. Right, okay. Right, so here is what we were working with. Yeah, we're going to have to dip, aren't we? Right, so let's go to foundations and we'll get double eight. Yeah, we can do one more. And then we'll go back to going straight. Because this just needs to run under. And I think we're going to be nearly there. Okay, so. There's our copper node. Okay, we're not quite as nearly there as I thought we were then. There we go. Okay, so. What I want to do with this. Do I actually have the stuff to make a T2 miner? Yes, I need to make the two... Portable miners, but that's fine. There's one. Two. Okay, perfect. Right, and then we can hopefully drop down here. Okay. So, miner mark two. I do that. Cool. And then, what I want to do is I want to put... You like there. Grab a Mark V lift. Come on. Bring it down. Right, you're going to feed in. And I'm just going to do that. Cool. Right. And then you get, you know, for the perp for the moment, a full whack. Uh, where can I grab power from? Uh, I mean, I've got power up here, haven't I? Come on. There we go. How did I do the power for you guys? Ah, you're in the floor, aren't you? Right, okay. Right, so you're that side. So can you reach? You can. Beautiful. Awesome. So that's going to now start firing up and getting me a large amount of ore, which is lovely. Now, actually, what I do need to do is I'm going to need to put a power pole in the middle there. Like that. Because I'm going to need to run cable along here so I can fly along it. Okay. Fine. And now you get to go out that way. I'm going to grab power. Cool, and then we're just going to run this. Actually, do I want to do that? I don't think I do want to do it underneath, because this is going to be a pain, isn't it? That's going to be a right royal pain. So, okay, instead of doing that... Sorry, or Because you are all going in the bin. I don't need that at all. Uh, yeah, let's just do do it that way and then we can at least run uh, right uh, logistics conveyor 5 bring you down and then put you in there like that I mean I'm still going to want this to climb up but 
That's mean I'm then just going to pop a lid on like that and run it. Whoop, okay. You're telling me the belt's too long. That's fine. And then, after this, we're going to have to figure out the water for... Uh, which I don't think is going to be too bad, all things considered. Because it's all going to be on a single Mark VI pipe. Well, not Mark VI. A single Mark... Uh, Uh, a single Mark... I was getting myself twisted there. Right, there we go. Yeah, a single Mark II pipe handles all of it. I think that's going to be pretty easy to do, all things considered. Um, we're just going to need to, yeah, deal with, like I say, laying all the pipe work out, getting the production down, but that's not too bad, I don't think. And I mean, I have to admit, this belt run hasn't been that bad either. But I would rather have done this with the belt than trying to pump a chunk of water over. I mean, arguably, we didn't need to come out here now because we're not using anywhere near enough water to necessarily warrant being out on the water like this. Uh, right, let's bring... Let's say we've got our wall... Let's say our conveyor wall is there. You're going to come in like that. Right, okay. Now we need to work out our logistics for this part. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to have splitters. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep them lined up like that. We'll just do it this way. Cool. Okay. And then we can just do it like that. And I don't mind having that gentle curve. Particularly as the pipes are likely going to be coming up through the floor. Doesn't bother me that this is going to have a curve on it to actually climb that level. Right, and then you are going to go there, and then back two. And then you should just, there you go, right angle straight in. There we go, copper ore flooding through. Okay, awesome, nice. So, now we need five water extractors. Not quite got enough on me for it, that's fine. We can run, we can hover back and go and get that. Okay. And then we're going to need some plastic as well as the copper sheeting. Because we're going to need... Yeah, and we've got some copper sheeting in here now. That's good. Because it's only while we're trying to make those circuit boards we are not producing enough. Before that point we're fine. So we'll do this. We'll grab some plastic... Uh, there it is. There's our plastic flooding in. Beautiful. And I mean, at some point, I still need to up all of the, uh, the power facility because I've still I've still got four floors to make on our new power plant. <laughs> Whole four floors. It's mad how uh, how much power that thing's going to be able to throw out. One of the comments that uh, that it, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was Andrew put in, um, basically said, I don't know you're going to need nuclear power because <laughs> of how much that's going to throw out. It's like, okay, all right, okay. Uh, okay, so let's, before we start working out uh, our, where we're going to be working, or basically where we're going to put the water extractors underneath, let's first of all get this in place 
Right, so you're claiming you want to be there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now I can just put this down. And you'll be fine. Ooh. Now I shouldn't actually need that much plastic thinking it through. Uh, because I most of this is going to be able to be a tier one. Because this entire row's got eleven refineries on, and if each one's using um Yeah, if each one's using 10 water, well, that's 110 water. That means this entire bank doesn't need a tier 2 pipe. Because a 300 pipe will feed this entire bank more than. So, yeah, this is surprising me. But, you know, I'm not going to quibble. I'm just going to say thank you very much for that unexpected gift and get on with it. Uh, and run all this through. Oh, there we go. Uh, and in there. Cool. Nice. Now, it might be that we actually hook these into the floor underneath. Uh, and like I say, that, that might be something I'll wind up doing. Because I've not worked out how I'm going to do the logistics yet for... Um, the actual pipe work underneath yet. I want it to be tidy. So I think I might do a lot of the yeah, the actual splitting that one six hundred line into I mean actually Do I even need to bother with a six hundred? No, I don't. Because I've got five rows. Each one needs oh I yeah, we just hook up each one of these lines with a single water extractor and be done with it. We don't have to worry about any complicated nonsense underneath. We just deal with it that way. Uh, yeah, overcomplicating that in my head. So yeah, we'll just plonk a water extractor under the start of each of these and then run it straight up. I mean, that couldn't be simpler. And then each one's got its own dedicated line. That's going to make the... I mean, the only thing with that is, in theory, that means I'll need five pumps. Whereas if I put it all in a 600 line and then deal with the splitting up here, I've only got to have one pump. But, I mean, I think I'm okay just having five pumps. I mean, pumps don't cost huge amounts of electricity. I don't think that's going to be a problem, truth be told. So... Yeah, I think that's what we do with it. We just... Yeah. That works. Happy with that. Right, okay. Are you lined up in the middle? You are. Cool. So we can just fill all this in. Yeah, five, five pumps, but... I mean, that's fine. That does make the water... Yeah, the, yeah, I'm going to do that. That makes sense. And the, I and I think I mentioned this at the end of the last episode where I was filling a little bit of time by, you know, chit-chatting with you lovely people. I think this is part of why you guys like my unedited videos because you get to see me have this random thought process while I'm talking aloud and figuring out what I'm up to. Uh, which is fine. Hmm. I am thinking, though, when we get up to the next floor, question mark, um, and we actually start steaming those copper sheets, then I'll probably bring it all up on, I'm going to say, one line, but I don't even know. I haven't done the maths on yet. Yeah, I don't know if that will be one line. 
but I think that's what we wind up doing there. Right, there's that one. Okay, that's that floor done. Well, not floor, but this row. I mean, the outputs on this is going to be fun. Because, I mean, pure, we go from 15 a minute to 37 and a half outs. That's more than double out. We're going to have to work out how many um, refineries we can get on a single line. Because it, because that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a challenge. Though actually, just doing quick mental maths now while we're going along. So the rows of ten are going to be outputting three hundred and three, three hundred and seventy-five. Which putting two three hundred and seventy-fives together is six hundred and fifty. 600 and uh, it's because I'm trying to think and do maths at the same time. That's not a good thing, particularly for a male. Um, so hang on, 375. So 350 and 350 is 700, which means there's 25 left, so that'd be 750. So Two, two would take up a full line. I wonder if they've done the maths in the background in Coffee Stain. It wouldn't surprise me to have some of this line up. So that that's those banks of 11 work out to be 780. No, it can't be. They'll be slightly over. They'll be 700 and like 87 and a half. Which is, you know... Hmm, that's a bit annoying. Okay, that's fine. We'll just... Maybe we just treat each line individually. Although I can already hear some of you screaming at me, load balance them! I was like, I, I, I don't like load balancing. I like manifolds. Manifolds are easy. They don't hurt my brain. Load balancing hurts my brain lots. <laughs> it really hurts my brain. And I've seen some... Very impressive load balances. Um, but they always hurt my brain trying to work out what they're actually doing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not not sold on that. Hang on, why is... You're loading. Why have you not got anyone coming through? You had some come through. There we go. Okay, weird. Uh, right, we're going to have to check any bugs like that. I mean, we've still got to set the recipes for all of these. That's going to be a fun flyby. Uh, that's that. And then that's that. Right, okay. And then we can run these in like so. Cool. I have to say, I'm getting quite attached to the black pipes, even though these are running water, not oil. I'm getting quite attached to them. Kind of wish they had the indicators on them, but I mean, I'll do what I'll, I'll, I'll just deal with it. Okay, so that's all of those bits done. And then I think what we do is I think we feed it from the other side purely because where that's got that slope, I think that's going to look messy. So, if we put... Right, where are we? Logistics. Put a floor hole immediately under the splitter. You're going to just get on with that. Yeah, I like that. And then that keeps them all nice and in a line. Okay, right, let's put those all in place then. Now, with this one, to keep them in a line underneath, I'm going... No, I am just going to... Yeah, we'll just move these ones over a bit. There 
And there we go. So you go in there. And you go in there. Yeah, no, I'm I'm I like that. That seems tidy to me. Cool. Okay, so now we need to go underneath. Okay. So this is where we're then going to have fun. So if we change that to not noodle, horizontal to vertical. That means I'm going to want that water extractor there. This is the bit that is going to be the challenge. Yeah, look, that's not lined up. But I suppose this is going to be buried and hidden underneath, isn't it? So arguably, what does that matter? Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, you're way out of line. All right, let's try and do this. Uh, no, that's not horizontal to vertical. Yeah, I've still got it set like that. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, trouble. Okay. Have I not run power under this last set? No, they have power. I wonder why I fell there then. Hang on. Oh, okay, that's because that's where the power for, for this last bank is. Okay, fine. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense because I'm um, at the back, aren't I? Right, okay, so... You're going to go there. And then we'll do that. And we'll come over this way. You're going to go there. And then we'll do that. And then, last but not least, you're going to go here. And then we repeat the process. Cool. Okay. So now we're going to need pumps. Now, will a Mark 1 pump do it? I mean, that looks like it will. Let's just go upstairs and check. No, it gets to the top of that curve. Okay, that's fine. In which case, let's just make damn sure it makes it. Yeah, we use Mark II pumps. Okay. Because I'd rather... Oh, that's tight. Yeah, I'd rather make damn sure it gets there. Are you facing the right way for a start? Yeah, you are sending that in the right way. Right, okay. And now we need to bring power down. Okay, so we should have power here. Lovely. Right, we're just going to hook you underneath like so. Right, and then I'm going to bring you over here. And you'll go there and into that. And then bring you over like that and here.
and then we'll send you over to that one. You can come over here. Power one, power two. And then again, we'll do one, two. Oh, there's the auto save. Come on, auto save. Be done. Right, okay. And then you coming up here, and we'll go one and two. And that should be giving us our water now up here. He says, this one has no water. Why does this one have no water? Okay, flow rate 300. That's filling. Is it just that I was too soon and the water's not made it up there yet? Yeah, we got water there. Lovely. So, these guys are now going to start producing nice, shiny copper ingots. So, we're going to have to work on our outputs for this. And I'm also going to need to set the recipes for all of them. So, I'll set the recipes between episodes because that's, that's a boop. Well, it's not a boop, but... It's not it's not a boot, but you don't really need to watch me fly around and just paste all those settings. So I'll do that between episodes, and then we will work on our outbound logistics, probably go up a floor, and start figuring out what we're going to do around our... I can't even make those yet. Right, you've not got a recipe selected, have you? So, well, we can have a look in here, can't we? So, uh, our copper sheet... We can use the steamed one. So that's going to be 22 and a half in. That's going to use a lot more water. A lot more water. Um, but yeah. We'll figure that out next time. But as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. It is very much appreciated. Thank you very much to my patrons. Please don't forget that as patrons you do gain access to the save files for both this and Stranded Deep. Um, so that you can explore those worlds at your leisure. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you all next time.